up guys welcome back to 50 today today we're gonna do a quick how-to on uh well, seatbelt so if you have a couple of stains like these guys or like some of the other ones that i'm doing a close-up of right now the big thing to think about with these guys is uh, how involved you want to clean are you just spot cleaning or are you doing the whole seatbelt now if you're just spot cleaning you don't really need much really all you need is well something that's gonna get into the fibers and clean it up something that's going to agitate it like a couple of brushes here like these guys and something to dry it with so a couple of microfiber towels these guys are going to do a great job at getting everything done now if you're going to do a little bit more than just spot clean like it's the driver's seat seat belt and looking at mine right now it is in pretty new prop shape uh, there's a couple more steps that you would like to take and one of them is well you can unwind this to basically where it stops put a clamp on it and then it'll hold it in place and then what you do is you have the whole seat belt and you can do both sides and clean it and there's a lot of different steps to it you can use a steam cleaner you can use the same method that we're going to do um, the reality is, is you want to just make sure that what you're doing you're not working too hard at the fibers and weaken them so this is something that's pretty easy done this seat belt i'm actually going to spot check or actually just spot clean uh there's a couple of stains from chocolate from grease also from ice cream as well so i'm going to clean this guy up pretty well now from there I'll uh, do the other seat belt and show you some of the before and after on that guy. Let's dive into it. So, there's a couple of ways you can go at this. Well, first way is you can take your product, spray it right onto the seat belt. That works pretty good. And then you just take your brush and agitate it. The other thing you can do is, well, you can spray it onto your rag here and see if that takes care of it. So let's give it a shot. So it builds up on there. We're gonna do, we're gonna rub right into it. And it lightened it up, but it's not perfect. So take the dry side. Yep, see, just lightened it up, but it's not perfect. So we're gonna try the next step. We're gonna go a little bit more into it. We're gonna spray it onto that. And if you want, since if you're using the same stuff as I am type stuff, that stuff tends to get a little bit everywhere. You can put a rag behind so you contain your overspray, which is a very good idea. Now, idea is to let this sit for about 30 seconds, let it soak into the fibers, let it try to loosen up all of that and bring it to the surface, which we have done. So now we're gonna just take this, and we're gonna work into our fibers. I think it's doing a pretty good job. It's like it's coming up. It's being difficult. So, this is one of those things you may have to do a few times in a row in order to get the stain all the way out. I don't know if you guys can see, it's still there but it's faint. So we're gonna do it again. Let it sit. Then we'll work at it some more. All right, so we're gonna try our stiffer brush. We're gonna work into those fibers just a little bit more. We'll go up and down, side to side with this. Actually, almost there. I might even need to do one more time. And look at it, it is just about gone, which is good. So, I think one more hit, and that'd be it. And then we can work on some of these other spots. So, like the ice cream here, here, and here, and here. Oh, just about everywhere. Look at that 
one staying gone. Now let's do the others, and I think these are going to come up a lot easier than this one. This chocolate tends to uh, be a darker stain. Since these are lighter, I think we'll have a little bit better luck with them. A little less, uh, a little less fighting with them. Now, if you run into an issue like something that's a little stiffer than this, you can use a degreaser, and you definitely want to dilute it. I would start, depending on what kind of degreaser you would have, I would start with a 75% water, 25% degreaser. If that's not doing the job, up it to 50, but I wouldn't go anything more than that. Last thing you want to do is actually pull the dye out of the seatbelt and essentially ruin the seatbelt. So keep that in mind. But I don't think these stains are going to be that bad. The stains on the driver's side might be a different story. Make me feel like this. So guys, you can see this one is pretty gross. So we're gonna get this one clean and you can tell the difference between here and up here. There is well, somewhat of a difference. It's still pretty dirty up here, but what we're gonna do is try to take out some of this darker color, the staining that we have going on, and then we're gonna try to restore it back to its original color. So again, you can grab your product, make sure you have a towel behind so you don't have a whole bunch of overspray. This is going to be one of those things that I, if you let it sit longer, probably will do more for you because then you're actually getting more of this stuff into the pipers. So this is going to be a harder stain and this, as a result, might even need to use a degreaser just because of how dark the stain is. So we're going to try the best step, well, I want to say the best step first, but we're going to try the safer step first, and then as needed, we're going to step up to more aggressive. Just spray it all down. It's going to sit uh, probably for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. After that, we are going to agitate it, and then we're going to use one of our towels to basically lift the stain out of the fibers. So, from that point, we'll evaluate if how many more times we need to do it. And you guys might be able to hear it. You can hear the chemical actually reacting with the dirt in the fibers, which is good. So, we got our brush. We're gonna agitate into it. And this is really dirty. something here. So yeah, I'm starting to lift all the dirt out. Pretty gross. So, we we'll keep working at it. Again, until we get a result that we like. Now, if this is still not coming out the way we want it, and again, we can always use our degreaser and give that a shot. All right, so I got this all dried up. Now, it's still a little dark, but you can see the color has changed, and the reason why it's still dark is just because it's still wet. It still have some moisture in it. Now, that's gonna bring us to our next subject. If you're doing the whole seatbelt, it is one of those things that you wanna leave the whole seatbelt unspooled while it dries overnight. And the reason being is you don't wanna get mold, mildew, or anything inside or growing on the seatbelt. So if you leave it all the way out after you're done, it will dry and then you won't have any more work to do after that. Now I've seen tons of other things that you can do to uh, achieve you know, a good result or a better result. And one of them is gonna be steam. Using a steam cleaner makes uh, well, makes cleaning this is probably a little bit easier. And the, re 
the reality of it is that you're using heat and moisture and that's going to break down all that dirt and grime and stuff that's on there and be able to wipe it off a lot easier. Especially when you use it in a combination of a product like this, that will make the job so much easier. Honestly, this is a very, a oh, very quick thing to do. It's probably like a five minute thing and it's something that you don't commonly think about cleaning when you're work, working on your car. And the result, well, it shows for itself and how much effort you put into it. You now it shows for itself then again. I, there's tons of other things that I've seen people do and something even as ridiculous as taking the whole seatbelt, closing the door on it, and somehow having it outside strung up and then hitting it with a power washer. Well, if you have an old car and you don't care, <laughs> that's one way of cleaning it. It looks like it's quick and effective. Not something I'm gonna do on this. But, again, as a result, you can see, down here it's clean, up here it's still dirty. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Hopefully get a really good result that's consistent all the way through. Bring it back to its former glory. And, one other thing we've done. Now guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you later guys.